Hey, what's up everyone? I thought I would do a stream since I haven't been on lately. Things have been going kind of well with someone I like, but may as well not talk about that because whenever I get excited about things, they have a chance of not working out. So we'll be playing some Mass Effect, which I have not played in a while, and I'm looking forward to getting back into it. This is one of my favorite game series of all time. During the cutscenes, I am going to be working on my new intro screen for this playthrough. But uh, yeah, I went out with this guy I've been seeing. We bought a Christmas tree, got some blue lights, some blue Christmas bulbs. Talked about the human trafficking stuff, as I always do compulsively, because I'll randomly get horrible anxiety about things related to it, That half of which I don't even know if they're real or not. Hey, Adi, what's up? Oh my god, that's what I forgot to do. I was going to message you later. I'm still working on uh, helping you out. I should have it done tomorrow morning, or even maybe tonight, depending on how energetic I feel. Sorry, I've been weirdly busy lately. Okay, where the hell am I in this game? That's the question I need to ask. It's been like five months since I did this. All right, assignments, hostage, privateers. A lot of these are not from the main quest. Here, I was just about to uh, look at my Discord messages. It's really funny that you popped up. Oh shit, you sent a bunch of extra ones. Yeah, just describe the, uh, just describe them in the chat and, um, give me the deadline for them. <laughs> this isn't X-Men. This is, uh, Mass Effect. It could have taken some inspiration from it, though. Okay, what all do I have? Assignments, missions are for the, um, actual game, like the plot. And then the assignments are like side quests. You don't have to do these, but it's good to do them. Or else you might get a bad ending. I should be doing assignments, actually. It's the thing that you don't want to do in this game when you replay it. Like, the first time you do all of them, you're like, wow, so much attention to detail. Then you play this game like five times, it's like, fuck, I don't want to go explore the fucking empty ass planets where nothing happens. And everyone has like the same character model because it's not from the main game. Um... That will be easy. I have to just talk to some dude. Unusual readings. Hydra system. Oh, scanning the keepers. There's that. Reporter named Emily Wong. Covering corruption on the Citadel. I don't know how I'm going to do that immediately. Conrad Werner. Harmless fan. UNC missing survey team. Go to the Hades Gamma Cluster. Okay. Dantius. Artemis Tau. A man named Garoth asks you to look for his missing brother. Garoth. Just like, Photoshop in a lightning strike every time someone says that name. Fears his brother's ship may have fallen victim to privateers while traveling through the Stren Strenus system. Alright. Hostage. Fanatical bio biotics. Okay. Kidnap the chairman. Oh no. Alright. I'm gonna go to the Citadel real quick and talk to General Septimus. That'll be a really nice thing for me to do. He's basically just like, oh, I love my prostitute Message so much. Am I guilty of anything? And you're like, God damn it, stop drinking. Story on you. I did! I moved my table just like you suggested. Now it's up against the other wall, and it's not as big of a reach to watch, like, look at the TV screen. I did. I finished Resident Evil 1 and 2. I was thinking of doing the B mission, like the other campaign in them. I said I was going to do that at the end when I went back, but I might actually just do it now. Oh, my Thanksgiving was good. How was your Thanksgiving? We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. I honestly didn't do a whole lot. like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the specters look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. Okay. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. Hey Jay, what's I up? That, I won't keep you any longer. Fifth fleet out. Yeah, I'm all about it. Um, okay. 
So we're still, we're at the Citadel. We will just continue to be at the Citadel. Get me out of here. That's convenient. Okay, so I have to go down to the bars where General Septimus is. He's drinking because the prostitute broke his heart. She didn't want to go steady with him. Oh, I should talk to Joker. He's always got unique dialogue, like, every few uh, missions. Gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. I got some minor food poisoning, I think from... I'm not even sure what. I did not digest my fun Fetty cake very we well, though. I think it was that. On stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No metal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. Balance. Yeah, the Normandy's yeah. Normandy's probably too much ship. Sometimes you get Paragon points or Codex points if you talk to them. Plus, he, he has professional voice acting. It's not bad to listen to. It's played by the werewolf from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Seth Green. Okay. These are my two favorites, to be honest with you. I like the aliens. Dude, same Adi. I never cared about stuffing, like, at all in my life. But now it's like, it's edible. It's not bad. Atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley Hey, that's so funny you mentioned Kodor, Jay, because the same people that made this Mass Effect series made Knights of the Old Republic. Okay, we have to find Septimus. He's Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard. Oh yeah, the and then I punched inspector. her probably. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. Well, I had a lot of today. chicken. My mom and sister made this like herb encrusted uh, chicken, and it was really good. Had the wings. Which is, like, my favorite part of the chicken. Okay, so this elevator... I had trouble finding this the last fucking time I played this game. This elevator is right next to a Citadel Rapid Transit, but you can't actually Rapid Transit to your ship, which is, like, the place you go to the most in this godforsaken place. Alright. Presidium. He's in the wards at Cora's Den. All right, a gentleman's club in- is it a gentleman's club? It is! I had never thought to describe it that way. This dude's here. He looks suspicious. Told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soul. Who the fuck are you? Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably- Oh, yeah! You get to choose one of, like, three dramatic backstories to your character, himself, and if you choose the one where you grew up on the streets- this guy shows up, and I guess I chose that well, one. I didn't remember. Public record. I got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the gangs? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting to leave the in-laws, huh? You must be bored out of your mind. Of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got uh, I've tunnels. never liked like cornbread. I like Yorkshire pudding, though, which I haven't had in a very long time. To get her out, what am I? To... Why was he arrested? Arrested for some stupid minor offense. Maybe he's doing drugs. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, <coughs> and they're shipping him back for a trial. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in... <laughs> Why is an Earthbound gang days, flying around in space in spaceships? That's a great question. Do some salvage, a oh shit, they're scrapping. Oh man, these people are based on real, real life crackheads, I think. Um, well, this is my big bro. No promises. I'll come to the and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. 
I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guards and core is dead. Well, that's convenient. That's where I was going. And you'll never see me again. <laughs> Shit. I'm going the wrong way all over again. That guy distracted me. The 10th Street Reds. Oh my fucking god. Gangs really do name themselves after streets and shit, though. Can I help you? Oh. Cut cur- Oh my god. There is a Paragon thing here, but I also don't want to narc on my butt, but I also have to play Paragon. I feel like I have to narc on my bro or I won't have enough paragons. Hang on. We're just gonna awkwardly stand here while we very seriously consider the pros and cons of this. 10th Street Reds Mass Effect. This will probably just give me what I want. I don't have to say anything else. 10th Street Reds Mass Effect Fanon. Okay. What happens? What are the consequences of everything here? A human criminal organization. It's a fucking gang. Operating in the slums. Smuggling red sand, they're salvaging and gun running. Okay, but what do I do? This wasn't helpful. Old friends, Citadel. Okay. Walk through. Trying to get the- tipping the guard off gives you two paragon points. Using charm to free the prisoner will also result in nine renegade points. Using intimidate to threaten to kill subordinates if he does not release the prisoner will result in- Oh god, that's a lot of renegade. Okay, killing Finch results in nine renegade points. I'm not doing that. Using charm to tell Finch that humans need others to strengthen humanity gains eight paragon points. What? Um. Okay. I need to tell Finch that humans need others to strengthen humanity to get paragon points. I have no idea when that happens, though. If you choose not to free Wiseman, Finch will appear and declare that he's going to tell the galaxy that Shepard was once affiliated with the Rev. Reds and their anti-alien agenda. God, these drug addicts were getting up to a lot of shit. They even had, like, fucking bad opinions and shit. You must decide how to deal with him. Either convince him to keep his mouth shut or just shoot him. Okay. Convince him to keep his mouth shut or shoot him. This is not how people solve conflicts in the real or usually fake world either. Your choice affects the Turian Guard's opinion of the first human specter, either positively or negatively. My god, there's a lot riding on this. Okay. Using intimidate. Well, I'm not intimidating anybody. You've got a prisoner named Kurt Wiseman. Like that prisoner. For, I mean, he did it though. Like, he's on Red Sand. That shit. This is like freeing a meth head. That's a great response. As a specter on an important mission, I'd like you to cut him loose. That's Paragon, apparently. I'm suggesting that you are using him as bait to entrap more powerful criminals. Yes. Trust me on this. Letting Wiseman go will solve a lot of problems in the long run. In that case, I shall go now. The criminal. Damn, that was easy. Good luck with your mission. I look forward to hearing. I gotta tell Finch some gay shit now about how the humans and the aliens need each other. Dude, I will admit, I'm not a big fan of turkey, usually. I like chicken an awful lot, but if it's, like, paired up with meat, like any other meat, like ground beef or pork, I'll go with the pork or the ground beef over the, tur the chicken any day, but... Chicken's pretty good. I like that. I like chicken wings a lot. Not a big fan of Buffalo Wild Wings, though. I usually like chicken wings from everywhere but there. Theirs are okay, but they're super fucking overly sweet. Hey! Oh, I see a check mark. Is that gonna be red? Probably not. In fact, I think that's back at Cora's Den. Man, I may as well just finish the quest that I have at Cora's Den before I leave. Why did I- god damn it, I just fucking- In the later games, I don't think you can use your weapons in non-combat areas, but here that's clearly not the case. Alright, I'm gonna do the side quest that I had here. What's Harkin got to say? Where is he? Go away. 
Go away, okay. I thought he was gonna have something. Is this the guy? No. I got business here, but not with you. There's Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. someone. Where's Septimus? And then she's never with you. Hmm. That's weird. Cora's den is supposed to be where General Septimus is hanging out. Can I go in here? I don't think I can. The fuck is this? Where am I? Oh shit. Okay. We're using Omni Gel. Probably wasn't even that good. It's level two items. Okay, well I got that. But General Septimus wasn't in here. From what I remember, he's just chilling at the bar. Easy decryption. I wasn't expecting the fourth one. I almost let my guard down. There's Harkin. I feel like this is him. No? See, that was one of the nice things about the Mass Effect games. You can kind of see what's in a room since you have this auto-targeting thing. It said he's in here. The fan. Unusual readings. This one. No. Yeah. It's just saying that I talked to him already. So now I have to talk to her. Okay, so that, that doesn't happen in here. So is that all I have to do for the 10th streets? Um, I guess. Reporter's request, that's not it. Privateers, hostage. Okay. The Dantius family is evil from what I vaguely remember from playing these games years ago. I don't feel like buying shit. I literally never upgraded anything in my first playthrough because it really didn't matter. And then when I started upgrading things in subsequent playthroughs, it still didn't matter. Hey, come in. Here's there the fan. On the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Wingstop is my favorite place for wings. I fucking love Wingstop wings. They're incredible. The Just like Conrad Verner's opinion of Shepard, the first human specter. talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Hey, can I get your picture? Yeah, what, what it, could be the harm in why? this? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. Just hold up your gun. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. Yeah, Buffalo my Wild life. Wings is expensive. Wingstop is pretty reasonable. Okay, I gotta go find Shaira at the consort, and then I'm ready to leave. No. Uh, consort chambers. I love that this place, the the brothel, is important enough in this game. Although, to be honest with you, you do almost nothing in this area. Like, this side quest is about the extent of it, but it's important mm -hmm. enough. It's on the rapid transit. I'll race scan that keeper. Almost walked right by it. 
him as a sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Okay, so I did that on a previous playthrough. I remember now. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. The Solarians have a depressing um, bit of trivia. There's this depressing fact about their race, which is that they all die around the age of like 35 to 40 or something like that. Like, middle age is as old as they get, so they take breeding contracts and shit seriously, which I thought was like a hilarious cultural thing. They put so much thought into it. I recently received it's depressing, a though. Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. <laughs> campaign against you are too kind, Commander. the famous prostitute. Good for her, honestly. She created, basically invented this niche here. She's like the only one doing this. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian. And yielding. Gosh, she's doing some cold reading. Look out, Sylvia house. Brown is in the house. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Very nice. Now I'm going to do the same thing to you. appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. This is fucking bubble. This game put a lot of thought into everything. I wonder what its canonical purpose was. Alright, I'm ready to get out of here. Time to go back to space. In fact, I think- well, I think. I think that's it. Not squad. Oh, I do have to allocate some points here, though. Um... God, I don't fucking know. Cool. Oh, yeah, I wanted to check. See? Oh, that's completed. Um, unusual readings. Uncover corruption on the Citadel. Oh, Fist is over in CSEC. The fan. Well, I did something with that, but I guess it's not over. Reporter's request. Okay. I'm gonna go see if Fist wants to talk about his secrets. Wait. That was Harkin. Wait. I think I have it. I went through Fist's stuff. That w There was that chat exclamation mark. Who wanted the... Who wanted the drive? Okay. Head there and search his office, which I did. Deliver information. Up rewards. Okay. I, I don't know if I've ever done this side quest. I think I might have skipped over it. Upper wards, okay. Corruption on the Citadel. Did I get this keeper? Okay, they said upper wards, so. This goes to the wards. Regret 
leaving Citadel security to pursue Citadel security. Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way, I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. Okay, so Emily is somewhere around here. Probably. Ah, a keeper I haven't scanned. Good thing I came up here. Okay. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. Rip. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Rest in peace. I always remember the husband. For a second, I thought I like me like automatically parsed it as it being about him. Ah, there's a an exclamation mark. This will definitely be something. Yeah, Emily's here. I remember this. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down. I've fits. been doing a few things. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These Do you want all of his condition. personal effects from his safe? You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Okay. I think that's everything. I don't want that right now. Hostage, privateers, the fan. Survey team. Seems to think there's still something to do with. What did Conrad Werner want? Oh yeah, he's like supposed. There's trying to make him out to be an obsessed stalker, but mostly he's just really fucking annoying and says stupid shit and does not really stalk you. He's just, if anything, you're the one stalking him. Okay. Now I vaguely remember how to get out of here. There's a giant elevator in the CSEC Academy. I arrived at Citadel Tower. Wait. Where is it? Shit. Consort Embassies Wards. What the fuck's that? This is the one I want. Was there sound in this and then it suddenly became muted? Okay, here it is. It is. It's just CSEC. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and, and finds a crime, a syndicate. crime syndicate. Now that's a fucking word. That's a big one.
I'll turn the camera back in a second. Why did I do that? And the reason is mysterious. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. I love how that shit sounds. It's just like, Exo Presley is now relieved. Like, or he has the deck. Like, he's always fucking doing some important shit, that Exo Presley. I think that means what, commanding officer? Hey, Arctic Fox, what's up? Don't mind my weird camera angle right now. <coughs> no reason why I would do that. Okay. So, Asteroid... X-57 is so... I guess the other side quests aren't marked on the map. Except for this one for some reason. I don't know why. We'll go there though. Asgard. I'm good, I'm good. How have you been? Okay, I'm just gonna land here. I think digitally paint a new overlay that isn't AI generated. Oh shit, it's over. I was trying to photoshop a new intro screen. Whoa, I got some shit for that. Fuck, I'm over here. I'm happy to hear you've been good, um, Mark. I'm very happy to hear that. No, don't do that. Okay, that's how the guns work. There's a uh, question mark up here. No one knows what it is, but it seems significant enough to be on the map. Body of Mendel. Oops, did I kill him? The victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered only to be executed by his sadistic captors. Damn, that's a fucking description! <laughs> his sadistic captors. The central transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure. I'm surprised our surface comms work half as well as they do. When Slob just showed up to shows up to relieve me, I'll go see if I can get the old girl back up and running. That sucks. Okay. Technician kit. No, don't get in the vehicle. I need to look at the kit. Oh, that's all that was? Okay, get me out of here. Oh my god, am I stuck? I was kind of stuck there. This is getting me in the mood for playing Bioshock, of all things. I started Bioshock Infinite, which I have never actually played through, which is the failing of that Let's Play. It's like, 
I do a lot of nostalgia playthroughs of older games, and that one, I, I've never played it before. It seems pretty cool from what I've seen, though. It seems like there's a lot of action going on over here. This is probably at least a question mark. Oh, this one's an exclamation mark. This one is definitely exciting. Oh shit, just like turrets and shit. God, I'm like... Oh shit, my gun's overheated. Just die. Shit! Every time I think I- there's no more left, another one shoots at me. Oh my fucking god, there are so many of these out here. My car is catching on fire, which is never good. <laughs> the Mako? That's the name of this stupid car. These are by far the worst elements of this game. Is like going to these fucking stupid planets where a very, like... So, you know, there are great production values in most of this game. Like, as in there's high quality animation, high quality like CGI, big fucking story. And then there are parts of this game where it's like there aren't even any fucking cutscenes in half of these. It's just really an ambiguous part of the game. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's the turret. Up there. I should continue moving when I, instead of stopping to shoot, but aiming is such a pain in the ass in this game. is not functional, maybe? Okay, well... Is this good enough? There's a question mark here. I gotta look at it. Where is it, though? Okay, there's a little path right here. Over here, actually. Turning around in this is such a pain in the ass. Where, where is it, though? Oh, man, it must be inside the mountain. Like, where this leads. One more turret remaining. I think it's, like, up here. Like, right over here. Yeah, I got it. Okay, that's like everything. Time to go inside the mountain. All right, and then we went inside the mountain and all of the punctuation marks were there. Damn, T doesn't even get flavor text. He's truly forgotten. It's even more depressing than just dying. Oh shit, they actually have a cut, like CGI cutscene. Batarians! Okay, this came with the- I was like, I don't remember doing this at all. This is a part of a DLC I never had. Bring down the sky. If you don't have the Bring Down the Sky DLC, you don't see this race of alien whatsoever. It's the Batarian. That's what they're called. These guys with the eyes. They've got like a universal government called the Hegemony, which I think is hilarious sounding. 
No, don't omni um, God damn it. Okay, I need to remember how this works. Barrier, lift. Let's see the war. Oh shit, he's got his shields up. That was retard. That was idiotic of me. Warp recharging, adrenaline burst, throw, unity, barrier. Oh, I can't do anything because he's got shields. I should just switch my gun. That's what I was looking to do. Here we go. Actually, never mind. Come on out and shoot me, buddy. Or don't. That's fine, too. Garrus died. aggressively pursue you. God fucking damn it. Alright. I could have used Unity and Revive Garrus, but that happens automatically if you clear the area, so I figured that would be easier. Oh, I was, I was about to say, was it not already open? It was. Grenade box. I never use grenades in this game. I should. Cool. Uh, was that? I feel like that's not everything though. There was punctuation inside of this mountain. Okay, so you can't go upstairs. There is no upstairs. Actually, although that looks like something. This is going upwards. I feel like, well, it's the right way. Never mind. Torch control. I like that name. Was that you? Can you hear me? Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Well, it's kind of obvious. Why are they doing this? isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. Good luck. Okay. Average decryption. Oh, these things stress me out so much. Oh my god! There were six that time! That fucked me up. Okay. Alright. So, now what? They're hiding somewhere, and then the Batarian extremists want the torch. Which I assume was that giant laser. And that's doing something. Good talk. So then what? I just leave? <laughs> yep. God. <laughs> Are you hurt? He's like, oh shit, I gotta apologize now that I didn't get away with murdering this person. Takes more than one shot to bring me down. Sorry. 
I didn't even realize you were human until... Well, I guess I'm not much of a soldier. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rod. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice community. Good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony, the planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep <laughs> inland at hundreds of kilometers There's just around. no hope. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. This doesn't make any sense. Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. Why does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought... Damn, they have legislation on killing people with asteroids. Most Batarians aren't genocidal madmen. But these are terrorists. Yeah, I know. It's just... This isn't how I expected the world to be when I rolled out of bed this morning. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. Batarians All right. everywhere, and I need to Bullock shut down talking points. Torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. Bring down the sky. That's what this is referring to. The asteroid drop. I'm worried about them. Asteroid drop. What a... That's a catchy name for this situation. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. I'll look for them, but the torches have to be my priority. Yeah, you're right. Saving Terra Nova is more important than my team. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That are being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Uh... Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. 
can you tell me about Kate? As smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her. Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. You'd better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you. Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. Okay. Feel like we're best friends now. That was a really long talk. So this is actually a set of missions, or a mission, I'm not sure, that I've never played before. It was in a DLC, though. I never purchased this particular DLC because I didn't find out about it until after I played through this game like three times. But I got the DLC for all of the other subsequent games. Wait. What do I do now? Blasting caps. Yeah, bring down the sky. Oh, found Mendel. Wh what? What? Let's save this real quick. Rip Mendel. Wait, this is where I, that's the way I came. Let's go this way over here. I feel like I'm not done with the area I just walked out of and that everything is in there. I mean, even that question mark is kind of over there, whatever. Gotta avoid the blasting caps. There's definitely something here that I haven't looked at yet. Man, this is really expecting me to go mountain climbing here in my shitty vehicle. Okay, there's another dude here. Wonder if he is doing better. Nope. No, this is fucking Mendel again! So I went the wrong way, it turns out. I got turned around. Oh, I see. I can actually see the torch in the background now that I'm on top of a giant hill. Well, that was helpful. But that was actually the way I was going to go next. For some reason, I thought I had come from that direction. I feel like I should try harder to like climb this hill because of that question mark that was up there. It's probably the body of another dead engineer. I will find this punctuation mark and I will understand it. Damn. I really made it up here. Okay, there's no way I can climb up this. Hey, what the fuck? Really? Okay. I didn't feel like that was possible, but I did it anyway. Got some Metagel. Computer's filled with operations logs. Pirate music station. So, rock 
and roll. Is that it? Is there, are there any dead people around here? this music oh well oh my god it's gonna continue that was fun okay just keep doing you shepherd just do you Get rid of the guns. Shit. That was so terrible. Do I die if I hit them? Okay, just instant death. How far does that put me though? Don't do that. If you ever play this game, don't do that. I was not prepared for that to be an insta-death, though. I'll admit that. Good thing I saved. We're not going to the question mark. We're not, we're not turning on the radio again. And that was apparently rock and roll, by the way. end of that one. God fucking damn it. There's so many things shooting at me right now. Okay. So I'm supposed to do this on foot. Also, we're saving here. I don't want to have to drive over the fucking asteroid all over again. All right, they're proximity mines. What? Jesus Christ. Shit. Where is it? Jesus Christ, this is harrowing. Oh 
shit! God. God damn it. These proximity mines are really something. This is probably the only place I'm ever gonna die in the game. Okay, let's do that again. Now we pass between these two. God, this is- what the- Oh fuck, the soldier's just like right there. One did not fuck with me like the other ones did. So it's auto saving. There are some Batarians somewhere. I love using those. I almost never do though. That would require me to pay attention to my surroundings, which I rarely do. In real life and in fake life. this. How do I go upstairs? Here we go. forever for my gun to recharge.
This one talks. It's giving me the option to talk to this shit. That was so weird. Glitch, I guess. Well, that one's gone. Stefan, what's up? I saw you were streaming earlier. I was out on a date and I was, wasn't able to show up. So sorry. Oh shit, they found her. And I guess that's the other engineer. They wanted me to find three. Who's shutting down the torches? I won't ask you again. Damn. Well, one less engineer to find. Find this problem and deal with it. It was good. I think things are going well with this guy, but every time I think that, the guy always vanishes. It's so weird. This is the guy I thought that things weren't were, uh, going well with. I give up. I can't predict anything about the world. Okay. So, I guess I'm done with this area. Oh shit, I think we're immediately getting a cutscene. Maybe not. Oh, oh, but I dismantled, I disarmed the proximity mines, so... It doesn't matter. Right, there was a third torch that you could see. That is the way I came, I believe. No, that is, so I want to go this way, maybe. There are going to be more proximity mines because I don't want to deal with that bullshit all over again. Wow, the bomb is really good. I like getting rid of all these just to be a completionist. Have to get them all. Hmm. 
There are many dudes in here. never gonna find those people or well one person now well that's all of the torches I guess the asteroid isn't gonna hit the planet I enjoyed the response of can't you just evacuate the planet it's like no there shouldn't be an asteroid about to hit it in the first place that's not the issue <laughs> Hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in But it does. Oh, this is the boss. Rip. Actually more associated with the Krogan in the later games. But I guess this is the first time you see them, isn't it? This DLC. You either see them in Mass Effect 2 or in this DLC, I guess. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. From here, I got all the torches, so I guess that means the asteroid is not gonna hit the planet? Question mark? Just like the question marks that were on the map earlier. This is the correct way. Yeah, it is. The main fa Oh, the main facility is apparently over here.
Wow, this shit's moving now. What the fuck is that? Can also move too. What the hell is that? I got all of them. Jesus Christ, I'm about to fucking die. Alright, hang on a second. Come back here. Grenade. I keep mixing up the button for run because it's different in other games. Where is everybody? really ran far away from me. There's one like right next to me. God damn it. Where's 
I'm dying? God. There we go. Shit, how do I use my fucking metagel? Accidentally using my metagel, then when I needed to use it, I could not figure it out. That's everyone, huh? Now what? Oh, there's someone else in here. Okay, that's what it was. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Let the hostages go, and maybe you'll live long enough to explain yourself to the council. I don't answer to the council. Or to you. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. I can't just let you go, Balak. Not after what happened here. This is nothing. <laughs> you humans have done far worse to the materials. We've been forced into exile. Forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Why take it out on these people? They didn't do anything to you or the Batarians. Didn't do anything. Aside from colonizing a world that could have been ours. Aside from using resources that should have been ours. We were left to defend ourselves. But the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention. Is that what Elysium was? A way to get our attention? Well, you got it. And when you responded, you ran like cowards. Now you want to start it all over again. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand. And I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. Damn. I'm not letting a terrorist like you go free. Do what you want with the others, but it'll be the last thing you do. I hope this is worth it. Wow, he really fucking does it. I'm gonna enjoy cutting you. 
That gave me Renegade. Oops. I mean, it literally, he had one hostage. I calculated that in my head. I'm like, there's literally just one person left. I don't get the barrier thing, because they can't attack us either. about to fucking die. Just fucking run. There we go, that's how you use Metagel. Triangle. I remember it being Y because I played this on the Myself. That was dumb. Oh, I can revive my squad mates need to be recharged. I'm so used to recharging with the square button that I just do it automatically. Here we go. There we go, I finally used a grenade. Now I'm out. Like, he's trying to distract from the actual situation here, which is he tried to destroy a planet. Who's the real terrorist here? You and I are nothing alike. You killed those people. You pushed the button. And now you'll pay for it. Go ahead. Kill me. I'm not afraid to die. But know this. <coughs> One day soon, the human race is going to pay for what it's done. You're just a demented madman who gets off on killing humans. Don't try to make it sound like some holy crusade. It is a crusade. <laughs> and we won't stop until we wipe your filth from the universe. The 
Strands have stayed hidden long enough. We won't be ignored. Not anymore. There are thousands more like me waiting their turn. Each one willing to die for our cause. And they chose you for this mission? Then I guess we have nothing to worry about. Believe what you want. When the fits flash with images of your colonies in flames, you'll know the Batarian Rebellion has begun. <laughs> Who's your leader? Who's orchestrating all this? <laughs> gonna die. We'll drop you off on Terra Nova and let Alliance officials deal with you. I doubt they'll be too friendly. <coughs> this isn't over. <coughs> this is just the beginning for the Batarian nation. Feel bad about having killed the one remaining hostage. Oops. I didn't think he'd really do it. Watch where you step. There were bombs and there may be more. I need a sapper team to sweep the area. Right. I'll be careful. This is who we ended up saving. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city. The most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Have you found Katie and her team? I'm sorry, Simon. Ballot took Kate and some others as hostages. There was a bomb in their cell. Right? It's like, I didn't really believe he'd fucking do it. This happened. I thought you were... Couldn't you save them? There are people in the galaxy who will kill a human whenever they're given a chance. Balak was one of them. I it was just one. He had killed the other dude already. The price was three lives. Part of my job is to accept responsibility for decisions like that. I'll be glad to let Kate's face keep me awake tonight if it means your family sleeps soundly. All right, I'm sorry. I can see that you're... Well, I understand. So this son of a bitch, this Balak, they're gonna lock him up, right? Not in some cushy cell with extra net access, but someplace hard. Mean. The specifics are up to the courts. Yeah. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. You'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. I know <laughs> this is the Paragon this. option. That Omni tool of yours? I could really use something like that. Shepard, I think I mentioned that you saved my kids and grandkids. What's an Omni tool? I just take his Omni tool after killing his teammates. I hope you get good use out of it. I'm a real asshole. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Found them? I came across a member of your crew. He didn't make it. There were two others, apparently. I see. Well, maybe the other two are still out there. You yeah, I think I have to, don't I? Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Well? Damn, that sucks. They even have their dead, burnt bodies in here. What's with the exclamation mark? Something in here? I guess not. I guess it's just the dead bodies. Alright, I'm gonna save this here for now. I've been playing for like an hour and a half, which is a very long time for me. Pick this up again, maybe tomorrow. Thanks so much for uh, watching me. Happy Thanksgiving. And happy Black Friday.